Okay, so I'm back here because I just got this ginormous box and I can't fit this in the frame when I'm sitting down in the chair at the desk. So take a look at this ginormous thing. Look, look, compared to my head, this thing's ginormous. So we're going to get into this box as soon as I put this down and get back to the desk. Okay, so you saw the box. I mean, here, I I can't even show the whole thing at, when I'm sitting here. So I just got this whew, heavy. Uh, this is a 50, 50, around 50 book order I placed with uh, Midtown Comics. Um, they just had a seven up to 75 percent sale to benefit uh, uh let's take a look it's on their website i know that there's it's um the benefit of good cause obviously but i can't remember what it is oh the christopher and dana reed foundation okay so yeah so everything is up to 50 percent uh, up to 75 percent off um during the sale um, I, I only bought 75% books. I didn't bother with anything else. So I don't even know what's in here. I don't know how it's packed. I'm hoping it's, it's safe. It's safe. Um, I was also worried because we are in the middle of Hurricane Milton, or it's on its way, maybe, depending on where it's going to go. So I was hoping that this would get here well before that happens. And also, today happens to be um, October... Today is October 8th. So happy Hockey Returns Day. I'm I'm a big Ranger fan. I can't wait till the 10th on Friday. Uh, I know very Gary and the defects of big Rangers fans. So happy, happy Hockey's Back Day it's for everybody that celebrates. Um, I'm sure we're all glad to be over... With the uh, preseason, um, yeah, oh. yeah, preseason just is, is never very much fun. So, oh. so it's that one box, and then this is another box. Oh boy! Now I was a little bit upset when I did this order because there were. A couple of really, really, really good deals. A lot of de really good books that were good deals that um, when I went to place the order, uh, they said after it was processed, it didn't tell you right away. It let me, it let me purchase the books. And then um, when the order was processed, I got an email that said, these four books were not available. And I was like, shit. And... For the most part, I really didn't care that much, but there was one or two. Yeah, so this is what they sent me. Um, yeah, it's so you have Detective Comics five. What the hell is that? Five sixty six. Detective five fifty three. Uh, Detective 648 and Wonder Woman Volume 2, number 82. Those were all not available. Um, what can you do? It's, you know, there's only so much you can do when, um, when things like that happen. Uh, especially when there's a big sale like that, they probably they had books flying off the shelves or, you know, out of inventory. So I, I can't blame them too much. So we are just going to go and get right into it because there's a lot of books here. Um, and a bunch of them we're not going to go through individually because I bought half of the uh, original Batman and the Outsiders series or, you know, a good, a good amount of them. And there's really nothing special about that series other than the fact that it's a what is it, late bronze, early um, early copper. I think it's 83 uh, the series started. So, you know, it's just a good run. And it has a lot of good characters in it. It's good stories. 
Um, the biggest. What am I think? The biggest book I think is uh, aside from number one, which I didn't get, was what twenty four, the first appearance of um, Sister Eve. That's pretty much it um, that I could think of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the only other one is, uh, I mean, Key Collector has number eight, the first appearance of Next Wave. Um, and then number nine, the first appearance of the Masters of Disaster, which, yeah. I... <laughs> okay. So, wow, and inside that we have two separate bags. Okay. I don't know what is going to come from these or what order these are in. And I'm trying to be quiet. So. Okay. There are some Marvel books in here too. Um, so, and the, the big the big problem is I didn't put these into my spreadsheet. So I don't know what I paid for them. So I have to go on to, I have to have uh, Midtown pulled up on my other side, my other monitor and see what the prices were for these things. But the good thing is they are in uh, alphabetical order. So, you know, I don't have to sit there and um, do much searching. Uh, so the first book we have Captain America number one from the 1998 series. This is the first appearance of American Dream. It should be the first appearance of American Dream unless I bought the totally wrong book which would be very, very stupid. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Now, now that I'm saying that, now I'm questioning myself. Uh, pretty sure. Let's see. No. No, I'm, okay, no, I'm wrong. Sorry. Uh, okay. Right book, wrong person. Not American Dream, Ricky Barnes. Okay, so yeah, first fan to Ricky Barnes. And this, I paid $2 for it, and it's supposed to be a fine. Well, they graded it a fine. But as I've said in the past, the books that they've graded, their grading is uh, a lot of times is very, very, um, has been conservative has been almost as conservative, I've found, as uh, my comic shop. I find, you know, I find them to be very, very good because these, uh, the fines that I found have been not fine. They've been like better than fine. So there we go with the spine. We can see right here, there's a, there's a dent. And then here there's one. But it's not terrible, and it's white white cover, so it definitely helps. Uh, the back, there's a little bit of a scratch here. Um, there's a spine tick. There's one. There's a little one there. Nothing really terrible. I mean, the black cover, a dark purple cover. Uh, that I don't know what it is. It's a spot, but you know nothing. Nothing that screams fine about this book. Uh, see if we can find some page quality. Page color, okay. Some nice white pages. Uh, can't complain. Cannot complain about that whatsoever. Wrong thing there. Um, so yeah, for two dollars. Starting off. Starting off really strong. And as I go to silent my, silence my phone, I get a spam call. So, all right, next up we have three copies of Batman, which one? 457, okay. Uh, two, all right, let's do it like this. Uh, 457, very fine in a direct copy. And you can see that. Uh, 457, very fine. In a direct copy. And 457 in a fine 
in a newsstand copy. So, whew. yeah, there's got a lot of books in here. My God. Uh, all right, so we've got the 457 Directs, the very fines were 250 each, and the fine was two dollars. So let's take a look at the fine. Oh, I don't need the. I don't need that for this uh, <laughs> for this store. This store has regular bags. Um, okay, so yeah, for two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents. Um, so here's the fine. This is the the going to be the worst one, I would hope. I think. So if we look at the spine, we have a little bit spine tear, uh, staple tear there. Um, we got a little bit of stuff up here, a little bit here. Nothing that's egregious. Nothing that that extends like you know into the page, like into the cover, uh, into the middle of the cover. Uh, the bottom edge. The outside edge it looks pretty good. There's, there's something on the back. I know the back is a little bit worse for wear. Um, so if we look here, yeah, so we have spine tick there. Here's the other spine ticks. It looks worse on the back than the front because uh, they're mostly on the back. You have a little bit of a um, little bit of a uh, soft spine, little cover tear, not tearing, but here we have the issue. It's on this side. Uh, well, we have a little bit of a or crease here, but up here, you can see a little bit of damage along the top of the back cover. Um, see if we open it. I can't tell if that's a tear or not. Not a tear, so that's good. Just some creasing, and you might be able to see it better on the from the inside. Yeah, you can see it better on the inside. There's just some creasing. Nothing. Nothing super bad. It doesn't look like it breaks very much color. So for two dollars, I'm I'm quite happy with that. Uh, eh, let's take a look at these because the rest of these I think are the uh, the ones that we're not going to be looking at individually. So here's a very fine. Um, take a look here. A little bit of an angle on it. Uh, yeah. Art looks pretty good. There's a little something, you know, there's a little stuff going on here in the gray area, and a little bit right there, but nothing terrible. Uh, look at the back cover. A little dirt, a little bit of a crease over here, but the back, pretty, pretty neat. Um, uh, I don't know. All right, that's a that's a scratch. This is a scratch. That's not on the other book. Um, but yeah, otherwise, for a very fine and two dollars and fifty cents, there is. I don't know if you can see it right right here. Yeah, you can see it in that angle. Uh, you can see it right there. There's a looks like a thumb thumbnail. And page quality, I mean, pages are a little dirty. You know, they got that, that ink. Yeah, you, know, you can see the ink uh, on them, but fairly white pages. So I'm, oh, yeah, pretty happy with those. Then we've got. All right, so here's the first set of, let's see, 21, 20, 19, 18. 1615 of Batman and the Outsiders. I think they're all direct editions. They're all direct editions. And for Batman and the Outsiders, uh, let's see. So we've got 78, 70, 78, 70, 70, 70, 78, 70, 70, 70, 70, 78, 70. 70, 70, and 78, and 70, and 70, and 70. Basically, all either 78 or 70 cents for every one of these uh, books, and they're all between very fine and near mint. So, I mean, what's the cover price? 75 cents. 
So I pretty much paid cover price or less for every one of these books. Um, we'll see if this has the rest of the Batman and the Outsiders, this package. Well, it looks like it's getting a little dark out there. Yeah, it's I can see some uh some rain clouds moving in. I'm not in uh I'm not in any danger. I'm in South Florida. The storm is moving through central Florida. So we're gonna get like the outer parts of the storm and then the outer bands, but we're not getting any direct hit. Um so yeah, we have all this stack now. Um Okay, so we have the rest of the uh, Batman and the Outsiders. So 32, 31, 30. Oh, 32 is a new stand. They gave me a new stand. Uh, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. First appearance of Sister Eve with a... Wow. <laughs> with... A very, very bad uh, spine roll. And you can see, because the staples are at the top. That's a staple. I think it's the staple. No, actually, oh, this is even a spine roll. This is just, oh, wow. This one's bad. <laughs> uh, this is a very fine, I don't know that I would call this a very fine, just because... I mean, it's very tight. The book feels tight. The pages are white. But this is just, yeah. I don't know if you can see. I don't even know where the staple is. You want to know something? I'm going to be honest. This only has one staple. Um, yeah, there's only one staple here. Where the hell's the... Okay. There's the, there's the bottom staple. You can see that. There's the bottom staple. Go up, go up, go up. There's not even a staple in here. <laughs> there's no... You can see. There's no staple holes for this book. So, yeah, this whole top section, just, it all falls off. Because I saw this. I saw this, this little piece of the black line right here. I thought that was the staple on the front. So, yeah, this is, um, I mean, really, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't pay to send one book back. And I don't think that they're going to ship out a replacement, if they even have a replacement. I probably would have ordered a couple of each of these if they had more than one. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is this is just a printing defect. They literally put it through the press without having a top staple in it. So, Okay. All right, so then we have 23 and 22. These are both regulars. And then here's 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10. And these are all regulars. Again, all 75, 70 or 78 cents. So I basically got everything from 20, uh, from 10. I got everything from 10 through 32 for 75, uh, 70 and 78 cents each. That's not bad. Um, all very fine or near mint condition. So now we have, these are the Wonder Woman section. This is all from the 1987 series. So we've got 105. Uh, this is a direct copy, uh, very fine, 
And I got this in my other, my last order too. This is one that was all screwed up where I got the new stand one and it was all like water damaged and like wrinkled and there was a stain on it. Um, so this one, um, interesting. Oh, there it is. This one I paid 77 cents for. First appearance of uh, Cassie Sandsmark. And we'll see if this one is better than the last one. Uh, so take a look. Does look clean. I mean, it is white cover, but you know, so anything dents or anything will stand out, won't stand out as much, but it still looks clean. There's not, not a lot of dirt. Uh, you can see here there's a crease. Up here there's a crease. Um, inside the color, there's a little bit here. Another crease right here with the staple. But overall, clean. <laughs> My, one of the other ones was like all, all dirty back here. Um, this one, there's no, this is plastic pages, so there's no white. So yeah, 77 cents for first appearance Cassie, Cassie Sandsmark. I am very okay with that. Uh, let's see. So Batman and the Outsiders is gone. Wonder Woman. Now, I'm not a big Wonder Woman guy, so I'm not sure about all of these uh, books. I know there's some Brian Bolins. I think there's some... Uh, um, what do I have? I think most of these are Brian Bolin covers that I got. But we'll see as we go through. Um, I'm just looking real quick. Okay, so then we have Wonder Woman 97. Uh... No, yeah, you know, it's not a key or anything like that, but just look at that. It's a sick cover. I mean, come on, it's a sick cover. Uh, it's a fine. Well, they say it's a fine. And see, the Wonder Woman's, oh, I know why. The Wonder Woman's are they're out of order because what the 100 start with a one and the 80s come after that. So they don't, their system can't distinguish like, 82 is lower than 105. They just see the one in the 105 and the eight in the 82. So these are a little bit out of order. But all right, so this one's 97. Uh, this one costs 82 cents. So like I said, uh, it's a fine. Wonder Woman 1987, number 97. This is a fine. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of these. I might, I might do this uh, in two parts because... <laughs> There's a lot of books still. We still have, we still have a few of these. Um, we'll see what happens when we get to the other one. Um, okay, so yeah, so you can see here. There's Brian Bowl. It's a Bowling cover. Um, not a key. It's just a sick Brian Bowling cover. It's got no no discernible spine ticks on the on the front. Nothing on the back. Like, these are super super clean. A little bit of a little bit of scuffing up there, but I mean. These are just super clean. Look at the interior. I mean, it, the colors pop. It's a white page. These colors just pop off the page. I am super happy with this one. Uh, then we've got number 96. I, these are probably all direct sales because, you know, we're in, what, the uh, the middle of the 90s. I doubt these are going to be anything, uh, anything special. And this is just... You know, the key and key collector says it's a, a Joker cover by Brian Boland. But this one cost me a dollar and a quarter. And to be honest, I actually I actually think this one is a better cover than this one, personally. But that's just me. So we'll take a look at this 96 again this is also a fine um not seeing much i mean if you look like right here is a, looks like a little bit of something could be a little bit of a ting right there um but not much of significance which is ridiculous if we look at the back okay so there's a little bit of a a little bit of a mess over here Nothing terrible. Here, there's a little bit of something going on. 
So the cover is not, the back cover isn't as good. A little bit of scuffling and a little bit of a crease over here. But the rest of the cover is just really clean. And the front cover, there's a little bit of a crease up here. A little bit of scuffing up here. But you can see, you can see the crease over here. But it's only visible when you have the light. So there's no color breaking or anything like that, which is helpful. Um, again, white pages. The colors are just, look at these, look at this. Just pops off the, oh. Yeah, I mean, can't complain about that stuff. Uh, then we have 92. And this I paid 82 cents for. <laughs> and this is, all right, this, this is, uh, is this real? This is where Artemis becomes the new Wonder Woman. So we've got this. Um, I'm just going to skip through a couple of these. Uh, then we have 91 in a very fine, which I paid $1.07. And this is just no significance, no real significance. It's just an appearance of Sun Amazonian Warrior that I'm not even going to try to spell her name, uh, say her name. Uh... And we've got number 90. Um, okay, so 90 was 381. This one I paid a little bit more. This is a fine, so we'll take a look at this. But this is the first appearance of Artemis. Uh, the first appearance. Did I say full? I don't even know. And this is a newsstand. This you can see. This is a newsstand. Because we don't have the direct sales on there. So that's actually pretty cool. That we've got the first Artemis in the newsstand. And like I said, it's a fine that I paid $3.81 for. So look at here. The spine. So we've got the spine tick here. It looks like there's something here. But seriously, you'd expect this to be riddled with spine ticks for in a fine. Uh, back cover. Not noticing any creasing or anything. Looks like there might be a little bit of dirt here, or that could be just the coloring. I'm not sure. But the back cover looks pretty good. Top has looks like there's a little crease up here. Um, little creasing up top like right there, but overall, this book, again, we're not taking like a super close look. Oh, wait. Oh, no, those are, that's just the stars. Okay, I thought that might have been a tear. Um, okay, and do we, can we get to a white page? And here's the page, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I got no complaints with this one either. Uh, then we have 89. Uh, 89, I paid 82 cents for it. This is a fine. This is also a direct copy. That's, that's a pretty cool cover. I gotta, gotta admit, it's a pretty cool cover. Some of these I just bought for the covers. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had, I might have more somewhere else. Uh, 82. This is just a, a Brian Boland cover with Aries. Aries is a sick mother. Look, look at this guy. He's just nasty. Uh, this is a very fine. I paid $2 for this. This is, this is one of them that was not shipped. So it wasn't available. So I was like, you know, could have been worse. I, I'm happy that that was one of them as opposed to one of the more expensive, like, Joker Eyes covers or something like that. So, you know, could have always been worse. They could have always not sent a bigger book, like some of the ones that are in here. So, actually, we don't have that many books in here. So, I... We could get through the rest of this. I just need to get this open without making too much noise in your ears. Especially if you're wearing headphones. I try to keep the like this background noise and the functional noise 
for a minimum. Okay. So. What else do we have? Oh, more bat. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought we were done with Batman and the Outsiders, but apparently I also have number two in a very fine in a new stand. Uh, I paid 70 cents for this. And number three in a very fine. And a four. Did I actually get the whole run? Two, two, three, four, five in a near mint, six in a very fine. Wait, this is five? Wait. Four. Oh, six, five. They were out of order. Okay, so six and five, both... Uh, both direct copies. Seven. That's a sick cover. I like that cover. In a near mint. And these are all uh three was 70 cents. Uh four was 70 cents. Five was 78 cents. Six was 70 cents. Seven was 78. Eight. Another really cool cover. Uh in a very fine 70 cents. And nine in a near mint, 78 cents. So I basically got, it's, all right, so it looks like I got everything except for one. What, what's, what does this series go to? So I have, I have two, two through 32. Two through 32. Uh, let's see, my comic shop. Batman Outsiders. Okay, so it goes to 46. Okay, so I've got I got um Batman and the Outsiders 2 through 32 straight through, all for 70 to 70, 70 or 78 cents. I'm yeah. I, I don't I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to be honest. Um you, you can't you can't really beat that stuff. So now what's next? Uh, okay, Superman, the animated series, number 58. Uh, I mean, not nothing, no. No. Nothing special about it. Just an Alan Ross cover. I bought two of these from uh, New Cadia. You've seen a couple videos ago. Uh, this is a very fine, and I paid a dollar forty-two for it. Just, you know. Uh, okay, so now we get to the the interesting stuff. Um, so this one, yeah, it's pretty much a fine because it doesn't look. I'm trying to see that actually the colors don't really look that bad. Um. It's Detective 566. It's just that classic Rogues Gallery cover. But I thought that I thought that this was more red. I was just looking to see. Um I just want to see. I always thought it was more red. So I'm just looking to see if it's uh if that's the case on any other. No, they all pretty look pretty much. Oh wait, no, this one is red. Alright. Um my comic shop has a has one on their site that's very red in a very fine. But they also have one that looks like this in a very fine, also. So I don't know. It, it's it all depends on your your personal preferences. Um, so this one I paid five dollars for, and this is one that was not available. I was I ordered two of them for five dollars each, and one of them after ordering, after they processed, it was not available. So that really bummed me out. Because this was a hell of a steal. So take a look. So we have a, we have a, we have a crease in there. Um, the rest of the spine looks pretty strong. Even the corners. Uh, 
back cover looks clean. Oh, we have a little bit of a <laughs> that's a little messy up here. Oops. I might be able to clean that up a little bit. Looks a little bit dirty, but nothing terrible. Um, I don't know what that is, but that's nothing terrible either. The rest of the back is clean. Um, don't see any creases or any tear. Oh, there's a little bit of a crease right here. A little bit of a dent, but nothing terrible. The rest of the front looks really clean. Really, really clean. Um, cages are white. So, five bucks. No gallery cover. Oh, face. I think I. I thought I saw something up in here, like around here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, little bit of a crease. Nothing terrible. Yeah, you can see it right there if I'm holding it right in the detective and the B for Batman. Um, again, nothing terrible. Very happy with that book. Um, all right, so this is 553. Did this also... I thought this was also on the list. Yeah, this is another one. Uh, 553. This I paid 250 each. And... 250 each? Yeah, 250 each. And um yeah, 250 very fines. Second appearance of Black Mask. I'd love to have had the the second one of this one too. These these are the two big ones. Um Detective 648 in a very fine and the Wonder Woman 82. The Detective not so much. It, it's definitely the uh Detective 648. The second appearance of Stephanie Brown, or the first appearance of her as spoiler, whatever, or Robin of her as Robin. I don't even remember. Um, so here's, and this is a black cover all around. You can see the front is very clean. Just a little bit right here. But other than that, it's a really clean cover. Uh, Open edge, bottom side, don't really see much there. The back, I mean, you have a staple on the back instead of on the side, but nothing, a little bit of a creasing up there, a little bit of a ding up here. Corners look good. Open edges look pretty good. Could be a little bit of a dirt, could also be the back of the picture, the background of the picture. Um, and again, this one. Got really clean pages, nice white pages. Ooh, definitely, definitely happy with this order so far. 570. Okay, this was 368. Uh, Batman 57. Detective 570. Um, this, there was, okay, I don't remember buying this one, <laughs> um, but 368, this is just, it's just a, just a cool cover, just a, you know, a Joker Catwoman cover, um, then we've got some Marvel, We've got Incredible Hercules, number 133. Uh, I think this is the second appearance of... Amadeus Cho? Hercules, 133. Origin of, Am Origin of Am Amadeus Cho. Okay. Uh, this I paid five bucks for. It's a near mint. So... I mean, you can see, <laughs> it's got the twenty dollar price tag on it. And I paid five bucks, so there's your seventy five percent off. Um, Raphael Albuquerque cover, regular. Okay. And I've been waiting for this one to drop down for the seventy five percent sale too. 
I've been looking for this one. Because I, I'm... Oh, now we're getting rain. All right, so we'll see. I doubt we get enough rain for the power to go out or anything. Um, not going to be able to see much on this because it's a white cover. We do have what looks like in between here. It looks like there's a spine tick and a little bit of something. I can't, I can feel a little bit, but can't really tell much. Again, it's the plastic cover, so it's um you see a couple spots here and there on the on the cover but it's mostly white uh plastic pages on the inside not gonna be able to you know white cover white pages or anything like that not gonna matter okay so next we have the this is the detectives um yeah this is 648 these are the the two that they sent me um Pretty sure, yeah, so I had three very fines. Oh, I have it up over here still. Uh, yeah, so I had three very fines at $1.07 each. And yeah, so second appearance of spoiler, $1.07 each, both um, direct copies. So don't really need to look at that. Uh Detective 737. Second appearance of Harley Quinn in, in um continuity. Uh 737. $7.50 I paid for this. Uh it's a very fine. So let's take a look. Because this one's again, it's a very tough book because it's black. And it's pricey. We have a little bit of a bindery tear there. But otherwise, no man's land uh, run, and um, I'm pretty sure seven. Um, no, I'm thinking of something else. Batman five sixty seven is part of the uh, the rest of the no man's land run. That's the first appearance of um, Cassandra Kane. So here we have looks like a little bit of a spine tick here, but for the most part. This black cover is really clean. Really, really clean. Um, and hardly any of these pages are white on the inside. They are paper, but there's not much white pages. They're mostly black pages. So we'll just use this one as an example. And it's really white. And the white on the inside of here. But that's, that's probably... Um, it's probably ink the white in there, but yeah, um, very very happy with this one. Seven fifty could be, you know, could be a good deal. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, oh wait, no, that's the third appearance of Harley Quinn. Um, Batman five seventy is the second appearance. Uh, then we have Detective. Which one is this? Six seven thirty five. Second appearance of Cassandra Kane and David Kane. Uh, pay a dollar for this. Wait. 737. Now I'm confused. 735. Oh, 735. This is the first appearance of Mercy Graves in mainstream. I paid a dollar for this. Very fine. This is the second appearance of David and um, Cassandra Kane. Um, I paid a dollar for this one also in a very fine. Um, then we've got the aforementioned Batman 570. That is the second appearance of Harley Quinn in continuity. Um, and then Batman. 570. All these outsiders, holy crap. This I paid 750 also. So the, the second and the third I paid 750 for. Let's see. And this is also a very fine. So yeah, so this is also part of the No Man's Land. This is 570. 
it's only a few issues um, prior to this one was the uh, first appearance of Cassandra Kane, but uh, that was not seventy five percent off, and it was still a lot. It was still like fifty bucks that I didn't want to spend. As it was, I wasn't actually going to buy anything, but when I saw the email, what? Well, you see my video, my my. I'll put the, you know, the link up here somewhere, probably over here or wherever. Um, I did the review of Midtown where they don't tell you what the sale is until like the middle of the afternoon. So um, on Wednesday morning, when I was checking, everything went back to 10%, the standard 10% sa uh, savings in the cart or, you know, on the site. Um, then as the day went on, I started to see like some, some of these books were like 75% off. So I was like, okay, at first I thought it was just 90s books because it just seemed like all the books that were in the, in the 19, 1990s. But then, you know, as they went on, I just started going through, you know, just doing, searching just series. I was like, Batman, Detective, Superman, Wonder Woman, you know, X-Men, Amazing Spider-Man, Avengers, all that stuff. Um, and just doing Control F, uh, Control F and doing 75% to search the whole page for anything that was 75% off. And then like around two, three o'clock, it said, um, up to 75% off, but then it broke it down and said 15, 25, or 75. So I went a little bit overboard. Originally, I was spending $139 on this book, on this order. <laughs> um, so getting back to it, uh, Batman 579, first appearance of Orca. I paid 92 cents for this. It's very fine. Um, oh. Uh, okay, so we have another Wonder Woman, 132. Is this... This is the... I, I know because they have the swastika on there. Um, but, yeah, it's just... Uh, Dark Angel possesses Paula von Gunther and the cover depicts a swastika. That's the reasoning why this book is, you know, a quote-unquote a key. But it's also just a sick cover, too. I mean, you look at the covers, it's pretty dull. Um... Now, why this wasn't with the rest of the Wonder Woman's, I don't know. Uh, this one I paid two fifty, and then we've got Amazing Spider-Man number three hundred and sixty in a newsstand. Uh, that's pretty cool that they sent me the newsstand. This is the first uh, cameo of of Carnage, first appearance of Cardiac. Wait, is it the first appearance of Cardiac? Pretty sure it's like his first and only appearance. Uh, our second cameo of Carnage. Oh, I thought you even mentioned Cardiac. So when's what is Cardiac then? I thought this was. Yeah, I'm all confused. Oh, 343 was the first appearance of Cardiac. That's the one with um, Tarantula on the cover. This is just the second appear a second cameo of um, of Carnage. And again, new stand. Uh, very fine. I think I paid five for this. Um, six and a quarter I paid for this. So... Hey... You get lucky when it, if it's a new stand, you know, if it's a new stand, you get lucky, and it's not a very fine because you can see right here that sucks. That really sucks. It's a terrible crease. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna contact them. Yeah, it's a terrible crease. Uh, I'm gonna have them do the give me a twenty five percent uh, discount on that. Um, also. It looks like the corner's missing. Can't tell. Yeah, oh no, it's just folded over. Okay. Um, but yeah, that crease, actually, either way, that crease just, that crease just drops it tremendously out of a, uh, out of the very fine for me, I believe, you know, at least, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, you can see the black line going down here, and I guess the back cover gets larger on the front. It's a little bit of a miswrap. Um, yeah, this that sucks. 
Now, back looks really, the spine looks really good at least. Um, back cover looks good at the top. There's no damage. I don't see any damage to the top, so that was just folded over. Um, so, yeah, this actually, let me put this one over here to the side so I know to remember to call them. Um, next up is X Force number 116. It's a very fine direct edition. First appearance of the Ecstatics. Uh, this, and here's the rest of these, I believe, are um, all X Men. Um, this is, I paid six and a quarter for this one. Okay. <laughs> then we have X Men number 52. No, 53. Um, first appearance of Onslaught. This is a fine indirect, and I paid four sixty for this. But let's take a look because I don't think this is a fine. Well, maybe we'll see. Um, so we do have a spine tick over here. A little bit, some white on the top corner. A little bit of a spine tick here, here by the staple. Um, rest of it, not too bad. Back, see a little bit of waviness in there, uh, slight creasing, nothing, nothing tremendous. Uh, and the back, the rest of the, the spine on the back is really good. Corners look sharp. This bottom corner looks really sharp. So. And this one got plastic pages. So, um, why this would get a fine? Yeah, just a little bit of waviness to it, aside from the couple of spine ticks. So, the 460, I'm okay with this one. <laughs> First appearance of Onslaught. And then, last but not least, we've got New X Men number 128. This is a direct copy. Um, First appearance of Hope Summers. I can't even remember now. Uh, no, I want issue X Men. X Men one twenty eight. Oh no, this was oh this one's Phantom X. Wait. Okay, yeah. All right. This is the first appearance of Phantom X. Uh, ten dollars I paid. Very fine. Um, for some reason I always think that one twenty nine is the first appearance of Phantom X. Uh, it's his first cover where he's hanging upside down. Um, okay. So let's take a look at this. Go from bottom to top. Looks pretty clean. Looks nice and clean all on the edges, corners look square. Take a look at the back. Back's looking, spine's looking really good. Uh, corner looks square on the bottom. Ooh, am I looking? What am I seeing? Oh, thank God. That's just the, the copyright. I thought that was a, a crease also. Okay. Um, yeah, and again, this has a little bit of waviness to it, but okay, so that concludes my 75% off uh Midtown Comic Shopping Spree. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm aside from the amazing Spider Man 360, I'm ecstatic about how the books, the rest of the books came out. Uh, I yeah, I, I've got nothing to say. I'm loving how. Midtown has been lately. Uh, the they've gone to sealing the books in the in the bags and boards so that they don't have a chance of sliding out, which is great. You you see they've got they bundled each of these into smaller packs, wrapped it in bubble wrap in a box inside of the bigger ginormous box. Safe, secure shipping, no complaints whatsoever. Unlike 
Nucadia, which if you watch my last video, you'll see that, yeah, that what I got here makes that look like a shit show. So, you know, thanks for watching. Um, if you, you'll probably be watching this in two weeks. Um, hopefully you're safe from all these hurricanes that pass through. If you're in a hurricane zone, you're enjoying the hockey season. Um, New York Comic Con should be come should be gone already by the time. I hope you enjoy that. If you are a vendor, if you are a uh, if you went up there to you know, attend the con, and I'll see you in the next video.